Good evening, everyone. I am Krishna from Space Chennai. We are celebrating Global Astronomy Month throughout this April. We all know that we can see things around us because of light entering into our eyes. Have you ever wondered what is the major source of light for the creatures on the Earth? Yes, obviously, it is sun. So we get sunlight in the daytime. What happens when the sunlight falls on the object? They cast shadows, depending upon the nature of the object. In our childhood, we have played the game of shadows. We play with our hands in different patterns so that when the light falls on our hand and uh, cast, it casts a shadow uh, like a different, like a dog or a deer or different animals or creatures or something, right? So it is a game of shadows. When the sunlight falls on us or any object, it will cast a shadow. In the morning time, the shadow length will be big. As the noon, uh, as the noon time progresses, the shadow length will be decreased and uh, you will be having a minimum shadow or the shadow will be smallest at the noon time and as the evening progresses the, again the shadow length will be more. Have you ever wondered how it will be if you have a zero shadow? It means there is no shadow of the object. Is it possible? Let us go for the session today. We are celebrating Global Astronomy Month in this April and Chennai experiences zero shadow day. On April 24, 2020, at 12.6 p.m. noon time. What is the objective of the session? You are going to understand the rotation of the Earth and motion of the Sun in the sky. Hands-on experience on disappearing of shadows on the zero shadow day using the simple backyard tools you have. Now let us understand. I have a question for you. How do seasons occur? Now let us understand the answer. You know that Earth spins on its own axis inclined at 23.5 degree to the plane of revolution of the Sun. So obviously Earth takes 365.2 days to complete one revolution around the Sun. Since Earth is tilted, apparently we can see that Sun moves between two extreme points that is positions in the sky. So we set these two maximum and minimum positions or the max extreme positions so in the northern hemisphere we have tropic of cancer at 23.5 degree north and in southern hemisphere we have tropic of capricorn at 23.5 degree south so uh, due to the earth's inclination and its motion around the sun different seasons occur so let us have in detail now let us understand how the seasons occur in detail initially we can consider spring equinox that is on march 21 the sun will be overhead on equator. So the equal amount of sunlight will be falling on northern and southern hemisphere. So it is called as equinox, that it means equal day and night. After three months, the earth will move around the sun and it starts to increase in the latitude towards the northern hemisphere and reaches a maximum of 23.5 degree north, that is Tropic of Cancer. So the sunlight will be falling uh, directly on the northern hemisphere on Tropic of Cancer. So it is summer solstice. After three months, what happened? After reaching the maximum position, the sun descends towards the equator again. Equal amount of sunlight will be falling on northern and southern hemisphere, vernal equinox. That is on September 22. Then the motion of the earth around the sun continues and it reaches, uh, it descends towards, it descends towards the southern hemisphere and reaches the uh, extreme position of 23.5 degrees south on Tropic of Capricorn. We have winter solstice for the people in Northern Hemisphere. So due to the inclination of Earth on the plane of revolution around the Sun, the uh, position of the Sun is absorbed between these two latitudes, that is uh, Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Cap Capricorn. So we can observe the change in seasons. Let us see this example here. This equator and Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. We can consider three persons standing on each latitudes. On the day of equinox, what happens? The sun will be overhead on the people living on equator. The sun rays will be falling parallelly above the head. So they will experience a zero shadow day. But what happens to the other two persons living on Tropic of Cancer and Capricorn? The sun's rays are not parallel. So they will be experiencing a shadow on the particular day. Now on the day of summer solstice, 
the sun will be exactly overhead on the latitude tropic of cancer so those people will be absorbing a zero shadow ray whereas on equator and capricorn the sun rays are not parallel so they will be experiencing a shadow same thing happens on winter solstice now you understand due to earth spherical the zero shadow day will not fall on the same day uh, for the people living in between these latitudes what is a zero shadow day the lack of shadows is beautiful too but this happens only twice a year for the people living between the places of plus 23.5 degree north and minus 23.5 degree south latitude so that is between people living between these two latitudes that is tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn will alone experience the zero shadow day every day if you notice the sun is not exactly overhead at the noon time it is uh, it transits between uh, towards north or south it is a bit lower in the altitude that is towards north or south and we have seen that the northernmost and southernmost points are two solstices and the crossing of the sun across the equator are called as equinoxes for the people living between these two latitudes the sun's declination or position in the sky will be equal to their latitude twice a year that is once during the summer solstice and once during the winter solstice so these two days sun will be exactly at overhead at the noon time and will not cast a shadow of an object on the ground so this zero shadow day will be clearly different from different places on the earth people living above or below these two latitudes will never experience zero shadow day now let us see how to experience and uh, enjoy the beauty of this celestial event take some simple household items that you have in your house which cast a shadow on april 24 uh, you around 11:30 am you can place uh, set up all your objects in your terrace or in a open area uh, where you can get a clear sunlight with no obstruction so you can see this objects uh, will cast a shadow and the length of the shadow will decrease as the noon time progresses at one point of time you can witness that the shadow of these objects disappear completely this happens uh, for a short duration for one or two minutes the time at which the shadow is very small uh, when compared to the entire day is called as the local noon time of a particular day but only on zero shadow day the sun will be exactly at overhead and the shadow disappears completely after the noon time crosses again the length of the shadow starts to increase uh, this zero shadow day is completely latitude dependent and will be different from different places on the earth today around 3 pm i have kept some objects which will, which will cast a shadow now you can observe the length of the shadow around the evening time so similarly you can set up objects like this tomorrow in your terrace or in any open area and observe the length of the shadow um, around 11:30 am tomorrow morning and you can see as the noon approaches the length of the shadow decreases at one point of time the shadow completely disappears during that time you can uh, click photographs and take videos also and celebrate this astronomical event and also you can share it to your friends here is the example how to set up the objects for tomorrow's observation of zero shadow day so here we have a tripod and the objects here tomorrow i am going to do the same setup again i am going to see what happens to the shadow at the local noon time in 2019 we have celebrated zero shadow day here are some photographs here you can see a comparison the picture on the left hand side is taken before the noon time and the picture on the right hand side is has been taken exactly on the local noon time you can also use a transparent table so here is the time lapse video at two different latitudes on the earth here you can see the motion of the shadow of the new moon rod exactly at noon time the shadow disappears on the video above but not on the below if you have any doubts regarding this session let us know we'll clear your doubts enjoy this celestial event and share us your experience with us if you want we can take the photographs and share with us
Thank you.